So I'm going from PC to M1 Mac back to PC. Now I am working on a MacBook Pro M1 review from a long-term perspective, so if you haven't subscribed, why don't you go ahead and do that? But today I'm gonna to be looking at this Aftershock Level 10 Voltron custom PC pre-built and how it compares to my M1 Pro Max as a creative workhorse. Now PCs I'm actually super familiar with. I've been using PCs for what seems like a billion years and I've only recently switched over to the M1 Pro Max at the end of last year. But for me, building custom PCs is not something that I'm super familiar with. I remember building them when I was younger, but recently I'm more just looking for something that's just straight out of the box. I don't really have time to find out what components or specs really suit me as a creative. That's why in the past I've mainly lent to laptops that are kind of already designed for creative workflows. But I've definitely wondered whether or not creating my own custom PC will actually make all of those creative problems go away. And I guess this is where Aftershock come in. They've been kind enough to send me this PC for review. And as much as I'd love to keep this thing, sadly, it's gonna have to go back as soon as I'm finished making this review. Uh, they didn't pay me. In fact, they asked me to give my unbiased opinion. And so this is what I'm going to do. So if you're unfamiliar with Aftershock, it's basically a company that makes these custom builds for you. Now you can do your own custom design if that's what you're into, but this one is just straight from their ready to ship range. Now I won't be going too hard on the mumbo jumbo of specs and comparisons, but I will look at some general comparisons and some overall real life use cases, and I'll share some of my own opinions on what I think of each of those two. But before we go too far with that, let's have a look at the PC that I'm working with and all the different specs and components that you expect to get in a machine like this. Now the one I'm working with is the Level 10 Voltron. It's an absolute monster, a beast of a thing. If we pop the hood and just check some of the specs that are sitting inside this little beast, you'll notice that two things really stand out. It's the Intel Core i9 processor and the RTX 390 Ti gaming card. Now, if you don't know too much about this, you can ask any of your gaming friends because they'll know all about those two bad boys. So I guess it's fair to say specs wise, this thing is absolutely huge. But not just in specs, I mean, have a look at the physical size of the box it actually came in. It was never gonna get damaged in transit, but even when it sits on the desk, it just commands the space. And if that's what you're into, then you're gonna love this machine. For me, I really love the minimalist design, so it's not exactly for me, but I know other people would absolutely love this. But the PC in all its glory is actually missing a few things. Now, some of these things might not apply to you, but here are the things which are missing from my point of view as a creative. Portability. The PC is huge, it's heavy, and it's just not coming with me if I need to do work remotely. And as much as I love to do work in my office, there are times where I need to do work outside of the office. And the next one is AirDrop. Now I know AirDrop is exclusive to Mac, but it really has become part of my creative workflow. Going through things like other drives or Dropbox or things like that is a workaround, but it's just not as fast and it's not as efficient. Design and minimalism. Most Mac users absolutely love the look and feel of their Mac. Now I'm not saying that PC users don't love the look and feel of their PCs. There are all sorts of options, especially when it comes to RGB lights or even just the case options that you get. But in terms of minimalism and design, I really have to give the winner to the Mac. It always seems to deliver just pure, sexy aesthetics. And then there's the operating system. Some people just really love the operating system that comes out of a Mac. You know where things are, you know how to get them, and you just love how the system looks and feels. And then likewise, if you're a PC user, if you're coming over to Mac for the first time, you're probably gonna run into some parts where you just get frustrated because you don't understand how the operating system fully works yet. But what you do miss from a PC, you actually gain in some other areas. Like for example, if you're a gamer, the PC is your go-to. The Mac just doesn't have the chops to handle some of those big games that are out there. So let's have a look at some benchmarks that tell the story just a little bit better. The PC crushed it in the Cinebench test, but really they both perform so well that your average creator probably won't see the difference. Now with the Puget test, it benchmarks actual Adobe products. So I did the test with Adobe Premiere and the results were fairly close. 
These scores seem to mimic my experiences as well. General scrubbing and playback seem to favour the M1, but export, graphics and effects seem to favour the PC, which would make sense for all the gamers as well. And generally using footage which is a little bit heavier to edit, like the S-Log 10-bit 4K from my Sony A7S III, felt quicker and punchier with the PC. So in general, both machines are absolute beasts for editing, but really only one wins when it comes to gaming. And then there's ports. PC just understand creators, or just people in general. We want to plug things into our computers and PC gets this. And the other thing that you get, which really can't be understated with a PC, is the ability to just upgrade single components. Whereas Mac is just basically, here's what you have bought and here's what you get. And there's not a lot of customization that you can do to it. So over time, you're gonna run into problems where you need to upgrade your PC. When that comes to a Mac, the way that you would upgrade your Mac is you would just buy a whole new one. With a PC, you can just take the RAM out and replace it with bigger RAM. You can replace the motherboard. You can replace basically every single component in there and replace it with a better one. And so that way you're not forking out the whole full package each time you need to upgrade. And I understand that many people won't be in the market for both of these machines. These machines are no means cheap, but I also think the same principles apply to cheaper options here too. So for me as a creator, time is money. Although it might be a huge investment, it's still a good one. If I'm taking hours longer to edit and complete a video because my tools are slowing me down, over a year, this investment will return to me in multiples. I'm certainly not made of money, but spending more money on things that I pretty much use every day, my time and my sanity are worth much more than the actual cost of just buying one of them. Now, I know a lot of people are either a Mac or a PC type of person. I'm not really either, and it's the same way I treat all of the gear that I have. I'm looking for the most efficient or the best quality or any other metric that suits those needs, and that's the type of tool that I'm looking for. Now, at the end of the day, I am going to be sticking with my Mac, and that's because I just bought it, so I have no real need to upgrade. But I can see the merits for people who are in the market for either. And so I guess it really depends on what type of work you're doing and what suits your needs. I will also say if I did need a PC, I probably would go ahead with the pre-built option just purely because I don't want to spend too much time learning every single component and what is best for my needs. I just look at the total package that these guys have done and then maybe in the future, that's when I'll look at the individual components as I need to upgrade them. And that's why I think I really appreciate what Aftershock are doing because I think they give you the peace of mind with the warranty and all of those other good things, but they also do the thinking for you. You know, They produce a machine that can get you the results that you're looking for. So thanks for watching this far into the video. If you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and do that. If you've watched this far into the video, I really appreciate you and everything, you mean everything to me, but it's time for you to get out of here. Cheers. <laughs>